The guy you want to give me started on UFOs. If they come over, then we engage. If not, we kind of just, you know, speculate. All of those are hot spots for UFOs. What's up, Earthlings? Alan and Jesse here for another episode of the Alien Abduction Support Group. Today we are doing a part two of the Zodiac Astrology Alien Species episode that I did last week where we went through Capricorn through Gemini. So today we will be doing the rest of the astrology chart. So let's just hop right into it. Once again, thank you to CoStar, not sponsored, for helping me define each sign. But I'm going to start this video with Cancer. And Cancers are born between June 21st and July 22nd. So Cancers are known to seek comfort. They only have one boundary, but it's very strong. They often take on other people's problems. They're very sensitive and they forgive, but they never forget. So the Cancer aliens are going to be the Solipses Ray, other known as the Greys, and the Puhuxity, which is how I've decided it's pronounced. Uh, let me know what, how you think it's said in the comments. The reason I believe that the Greys would be Cancers is because they're very sensitive to other people, like other different species, and they help out other planets. Um, they're known to work, I believe, with the Council of Five, according to this book, which if you don't know what that is, go check out the part one of my uh, Alien Halloween costume series. Cancers are known to only have one boundary, but it's very strong, and the Greys are known to only have one weapon, just so that people know, like, we will protect ourselves if we need to. And I feel like that's very Cancer, like, we're not here to hurt you, but if you hurt us, you, you're gonna get what's coming to you. Also, Cancers are known to take on other people's problems, and I feel like the Greys coming to other planets and helping them out, they're taking on the other species' problems. A Cancer human, we might think, would take on their family and friends' problems, but also they might meet someone, hear their story, and feel like they need to help them or like a drive to help them. And I feel like that's kind of maybe what happens with the Greys. Like they land on a new planet, they learn those people's stories, and then they're like, we can help. Let's see what we can do. So, I mean, I feel like the Greys are nice aliens. So, shout out Cancers, you get a good alien. My grandma is a Cancer. And then the other alien that I thought was maybe a Cancer is the Puhuxity. And the reason that I said this is because apparently, allegedly, they used to have a lot of contact with humans and then most of them left, some of them stayed, but the ones that stayed were all killed by the humans and now they never come back. So that boundary is strong. They don't need to come and fight back, but they're not coming back. So I feel that, Puhuk City. I know and love a lot of Leos, but they are a very, like, I think, strong personality. So a lot of times when someone is a Leo, you know right away. So I tried to just use my instinct when assigning the, the aliens to this sign. Leos are born between July 23rd and August 22nd. Leos are interested in luxury. They're often a little bit vain, but they exude warmth and creativity and they have really big personalities. And they also often really want to stand out. The aliens that I think would be Leos are the Lang and the Akart. So the Lang, I think, are a really interesting species. They are known to have created the legend of fairies, according to the Book of Alien Races. So that alone screams warmth, personality, standing out from humans instead of trying to blend right in. And fairies, are, fairies do present this image of luxury. But then there's Tinkerbell, who is totally vain but we love her still. So that little spicy fairy, totally Leo. Tinkerbell, definitely a Leo. <laughs> also, they spark a lot of rumors. Some other alien species saying that they abduct a lot of humans and others swearing that they have never abducted a human. So I feel like Leos can strike that kind of love in you, you know? Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely think the Lang are Leos. And then I assigned a cart to Leo because they are known to have the fastest alien spaceship. I mean, come on, that's obviously some Leo territory right there. 
They just want to be flashy, like showing up in that super fast spaceship. Mm-hmm. Very cool, very luxurious, um, very Leo. Virgos are born between August 23rd and September 22nd. Virgos are known to need to feel useful. They have a million ideas a second. They're judgmental but with good intentions. They have a quick fix for everything and exceptional spatial awareness. Virgo is actually my rising sign. <laughs> Alan, do you know your rising sign? We'll have to look it up for you. <laughs> Maybe that can be an episode. Alan's astrology chart. <laughs> the Virgo aliens we will be discussing are the Grizzly and the Rake. Allegedly, the Grizzlies were gifted a pyramid by uh, people of Egypt back in the day, so I do think that they would have had to have been very useful to the culture in order to have earned that. So according to the story, you know, Virgo makes sense to me. Also, they're known to only travel with six um, uh, aliens, grizzlies at a time, and so I think that's like very structured, which is very Virgo, very orderly. They also keep a close eye on humans because they think that we could be easily misled by other species, um, you know, thinking like they have a million ideas per second of like what could possibly happen to us and what they could do to prevent it. So I mean, if they're here to help us, thank you grizzlies. So, The Rock were actually known to inspire genies, the myth of genies, or jinn, actually. Um, and I thought that this matched with having a quick fix for everything because, you know, like, they'll grant you three wishes. Quick fix, here you go. Uh, I thought that was kind of a nice little Virgo touch to their personality. Additionally, they allegedly left Earth because they couldn't handle our flora and fauna, so they probably didn't feel very useful here if they couldn't breathe well. Alright, now we're at Libra, which is Alan's sign. Here we go. Libras are born between September 22nd and October 23rd. This is the sign of, like, scales and balance. Libras hate being alone. They are conflict avoidant. They have really good aesthetic. They see every side. Um, they are prone to fantasy and they can't make decisions. The Libra aliens that will be joining Alan in this zodiac sign are the Kurs and the mysteriously named 2017. The Kurs, other known as the Gods of Lands, which I gave to Heidi Klum's golden alien in my Halloween video, which you should go watch, <laughs> um, they are often covered in gold, so obviously have a fantastic aesthetic. What could be better? Allegedly, the Kurs were part of the development of humans and Earth, and then they just left, and then like some came back, and now they're all coming back. So that's very indecisive. They couldn't decide if they want to leave or if they want to stay. The 2017 aliens, I think that they're Libras because, well, Alan kind of said so, but also because they came here and gave us like information and then just left. So that feels a little bit conflict avoidant. Like they don't want to help. They're just like, here, deal with this. Here's a warning, which is nice, I guess. Can't complain, but if you know, can you do something about it? They also created wormholes to travel through the universe, so they really had to think a lot about that, so they must not like being alone. Also, the fact that we have no picture of them makes them create a fantasy for us, so we have to wonder what they looked like. So, prone to fantasy much? We, we, we don't even know their name. So mysterious. They just want to have this air of mystery to them. And like, do you want us to know who you are or not? Make up your mind. Make a decision. Scorpios are born between October 23rd and November 21st. My brother and my dad are both Scorpios. And my moon sign is also Scorpio. Co-star. <laughs> not me, says that Scorpio's primary emotion is betrayal, but also that you guys look cool in a leather jacket, so. Scorpios are okay with uncomfortable silence. You often can't tell if they're serious or if they're joking, and they have eyes that look into your soul. The Scorpio aliens are the Mythile and the Nagamuk. The Mythile, which I gave to Lil Nas X in my uh, part one of my Halloween's costumes uh, video. Once again, go watch that one. It's pretty fun. 
But the mytholite, they look kind of like skeletons, which I feel would look very cool in a leather jacket. They're also mysterious. They don't really represent any threat to humans, and they're often seen above Antarctica. So, like, what are you guys up to in your leather jackets and your spaceships? Hmm? They are also a reptoid species, but they're not reptilians, so maybe they feel a little bit betrayed by them. Also, because the mythilae aren't really known to abduct humans, but they are known to come here, it's like, what are you doing? Are you serious? Are you gonna, like, cause problems from us? Or are you just playing around? Are you joking? Also, the way this mythilae alien looks like in the picture, it's like he's wearing sunglasses, kind of, which goes very well with looks cool with a leather jacket. <laughs> the negamuk, on the other hand, are the species of aliens that allegedly governments fear the most, and they're the aliens that the aliens in Independence Day are created or based after. They do abduct humans and they like exercise control over their minds, so I think that that would probably mean that they feel pretty betrayed by the humans for some reason. Not sure what we did to them, but they seem to be running on betrayal. And then finally, the last sign of the zodiac, Sagittarius, who are born between November 22nd and December 21st. Sagittarius have no indoor voice, but they're the friendliest person at the party. They are obsessed with self-improvement. They wield their truth like a blunt weapon. And they are known to form their opinions off of emotions. The Sagittarius aliens are the Palladians, the Jeff Fox, and the Alcabeta. The Palladians are associated with spiritual growth and they are thought to be able to improve themselves enough to get to that next level. Um, so this totally says Sagittarius to me. They are obsessed with self-improvement, finding their own truth within themselves. I think this one was very obvious to me. The Palladians are Sagittarius. The Jeff Fox were said to have spoken to a lot of human leaders like three weeks before JFK was killed and then they never came back. I feel like they had something important to say and then weren't listened to and this hurt their feelings and then they decided that they just didn't need to help us anymore if we didn't want the help. Um, so that is what I think maybe a Sagittarius would do, the line of thinking they might have. So that's why I think that the Jeff Foxes are Sagittarius. And on the more negative side, the Alco Beta might be Sagittarius because if that obsession with self-improvement goes the wrong way, it could become uh, negative. And maybe that is why these Alco Beta aliens might be Sagittarius who are known to have uh, taken over a hundred different civilizations on a, like different planets. They could be a little bit too obsessed with expanding themselves. They probably aren't the friendliest person at the party, but you know, I was thinking like, what, what maybe is the dark side of a Sagittarius? And that is why I put Alcobeta here. Alright Earthlings, this was fun. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week with another video. Like, subscribe, watch my old videos, tell your friends, tell your cousin, tell that person who talks about aliens too much that you know to watch this video. Thanks guys. Peace out earthlings.